Wonder Woman is the latest installment in what is being called the DC Extended Universe, which began in 2013 with Man of Steel, followed by both Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Suicide Squad in 2016. All three of those films were met with mixed to negative reviews and were considered no match for the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I have not seen Suicide Squad as of this review, but I do very much like Man of Steel and Batman v Superman for what they are. I went and saw them each in the theater twice when they came out. While I do think that the Ultimate Edition Extended Cut version of Batman v Superman is actually much better than the version we got in theaters, the best part of either version of that film for me was and is the appearance of Wonder Woman played by Gal Gadot. In no time at all after seeing that movie, I of course learned that there was going to be a standalone Wonder Woman film the next year and I could not wait to see it. But due to the mixed to negative reception that the previous three titles had received and how they left fans feeling dissatisfied, I can imagine there not having been that big of an expectation for this film. And many fans were probably half reluctantly going to see it, fully prepared to react very negatively to it. But ever since this movie came out, it has been very, very positive, and for the most part has been a huge relief to those fans who were not only wanting this movie to do the character of Wonder Woman justice, but were very much wanting a truly great installment in the DCEU for once. And that is good to know. And having seen this movie myself, I'm telling you, this movie is that. You can call it the best of the DCEU films yet, and I will not fight you on it because it very well may be. This film is set almost 100 years before the events in Batman v Superman as we follow Diana Prince, daughter of Olympian god Zeus, from child to adult on her journey to becoming the title character. Beginning with her training on her hidden home island, which is home to an Amazon race of warrior women. From there, she meets and befriends World War I pilot Steve Trevor, who is on the run from the enemy with valuable information relating to a major evil scheme that would allow the enemy to win the war. Diana then takes it upon herself to journey with Steve to London in 1918 to stop the one responsible for the war, whom she believes is Aris, the god of war. And from there, the film becomes kind of a fish-out-of-water story for a little while, which makes for some cute moments of comedy, but when the movie needs to be serious, it really is serious. Plus, it is colorful like it should be. And yes, there is plenty of CGI in this movie, especially during the last third, but for me, that's usually the best place to go full blast with CGI. When Diana makes her first appearance as Wonder Woman, complete with the outfit, sword, etc., all I could say to that was, wow, it is so powerful. Also, while the villains in this movie, including the German general played by Danny Houston, are absolutely appropriate, Batman for me still wins the prize for having the best rogues gallery of villains of any superhero. Not just any DC superhero, or any Marvel superhero, but any superhero, period. That's just a fact. Although I strongly feel Spider-Man would be second place in that. Again, in this movie, Wonder Woman believes that the one causing the war is the supervillain Aris, who is referred to as the God of War. And while watching this movie, I was curious to see where that was going to go. Or if there would be that moment where she realized that she was mistaken and had left her homeland for nothing. But without giving too much away, I will say I was pleasantly surprised by where the film went. The cast is fantastic, especially Gal Gadot, who clearly was born to play this character. The music score is terrific. I'm thinking of buying the soundtrack. Lastly, the director Patty Jenkins, best known for the movie Monster with Charlize Theron, has to be on her way to becoming a true master of cinema with this film, and deservedly so. That woman did a fantastic job with this film. Overall, thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and there will be more, because Lightning's Home Theater is always showing.